All welders are limited in terms of the thickness of metal they can handle in one pass. But there's an accepted way of dealing with thick metal that works for the hobbyist as well as the pros. If we grind a bevel on the edges of both pieces to be joined, we effectively reduce the thickness of the metal the welder has to penetrate. We want to create the sides of the bevel at roughly a 45 degree angle. We don't have to be ultra precise with this angle, just eyeball it and get it close to 45 degrees. In addition to reducing the thickness of the metal to be welded, we want to make room so we can get in there and lay the first bead down the center of the joint. If the metal is very thick, we might have to follow the first bead with two or three or even more to fill up the gap. That's exactly how the pros deal with the huge joints they encounter on things like ships and bridges. Now with the bevel ground in, you can see that we've reduced the thickness that we have to penetrate with the welder. I like to grind these bevels deep enough that I don't have to use my welder on its full power. That just gives me a little flexibility for later if I have to lay in more than one bead to fill the gap. Now clamp the pieces in place with the bevels together. As with any welding job, you want to take your time and get the alignment right. I like using this Bessie clamp for jobs like this because it lets me hold both pieces firmly yet weld in between them. Now we can go ahead and lay the bead down the center of the joint. It doesn't matter what kind of welder you're using, you just want to lay a good bead down the center of the joint. In this case, my MIG welder more than filled the gap up so I can just grind it flat. Depending on how thick the metal is, you might have to lay in two or three more beads to bring it up so you can grind the surface flat. After laying in all the beads you need to fill the joint up, you can go ahead and grind the surface flat. And that's really all there is to using a bevel on a joint. Each bead that you lay in has to be good and solid with good penetration. I actually used a little too much heat with this job and had to grind a little off the back where the penetration came through. Just don't lose sight of your capabilities and try taking on a high stress welding job that you're not really capable of.